The singularity has been defined as the future point in time when technological progress has become so advanced that it begins to have a runaway effect that cannot be reversed, leading to unforeseeable changes to human civilization. But one can obviously speculate as to what could happen. History has taught us that the future is harder to predict the further out we look. Past predictions are humorous, we seem to have overpredicted what was possible in the short term but underpredicted what would occur far into the future, especially when it comes to the miniaturization of technology, leading to the many wonderful inventions and gadgets that run our daily life in an ecosystem we call, the Internet of Things. It is blindingly obvious that our species is going through a dramatic change, maybe even accelerating its own evolution. This change is coming because we constantly yearn to push the limits of what is possible with computers, so much so, that we glorify this process with many science fiction novels and movies, showcasing what the future may hold. One of the biggest fields of study in computer science is machine learning, constantly being improved with new source code, theories, and applications that are revolutionizing business, healthcare, and warfare as we speak, but are just beginning to scratch the surface of what is possible. So what happens when artificial intelligence is given the ability to change its own source code? Leveraged by the exponential growth in all facets of computer science including data speeds, data storage, computational capabilities, and switch density, we could see a runaway effect in artificial intelligence that leaves human intelligence in the dust. The concept of an intelligence explosion conjures up many incredible thoughts, an artificial superintelligence born from our experiments could quickly become a decentralized godlike entity, worshipped and feared throughout the world. This occurrence could spell doom for our planet, or perhaps usher in a new era of incredible inventions leading to a cornucopia of cybernetic entities many times more capable than ourselves. The upside benefit of a machine superintelligence is ever-increasing efficiency in economic production, so we will always try to create and leverage such a machine. What is not so obvious is the level of disruption that this will cause, but if we tread carefully and have the right system in place, we could enjoy a world where all basic needs are automated and humans are truly free to explore what it means to be alive. Superintelligence could reveal to us the blueprint for a technological utopia. As the machines develop for us new methods of production for our economy, we will begin to see the cost of everything begin to drop to near zero. The most costly part of maintaining our society, healthcare, could be sustained with real-time medical devices living in our homes and in our bodies, we could have nanomachines traveling throughout the bloodstream which eliminate cancerous cells, repair neural connections, and strengthen bones so that our physical self can remain in good shape for hundreds of years. In our bathroom the mirror instantly diagnoses the skin with machine vision, and the toilet delivers an instant diagnosis every time we use it, and these devices are connected to a cloud-based artificial intelligence far better than any human doctor could ever hope to be. A 3D printer is readily available to manufacture any drug that is needed. Housing problems are solved with massive additive manufacturing solutions, building skyscrapers thousands of stories tall able to house millions of humans, which are connected to vast underground tunnels, thousands of miles in length. Vertical farms creating super-dense protein-rich foods, both natural and synthetic, solve any food shortage that we may have, all of which is readily available via drone delivery within the hour. All transportation will have transitioned to electric and autonomous, eliminating the cost of gasoline, auto insurance, and drivers, industries which unnecessarily cost humanity billions of dollars each year. Indeed, we may reach a point in society where the biggest source of value is original creations and art. When all basic needs are met, entertainment will become the biggest industry demanding the attention of almost all humans for 16 hours a day. Virtual worlds indistinguishable from reality could become the norm. Ironically, 
we may decide to hook ourselves into a virtual realm very similar to the world we used to live in, reliving the lives that we once had, either out of nostalgia, or because of the novelty of experiencing what it was like to be one of our ancestors. But the world that an artificial superintelligence could create, is not necessarily a good one, our desire for ubiquitous computing could begin to take a turn for the worst and accelerate a population collapse, rendering the size of the human species to a fraction of what it used to be. Machine intelligence could also unintentionally eliminate life, simply because it is trying to improve itself, perhaps by removing an element in the atmosphere that is very corrosive to electrical components but vital to humanity, such as oxygen. As humanity becomes more and more entrenched with machines, we will begin to form a symbiotic relationship with it. Many will oppose this new way of life, as such, it is likely that countercultures will begin to form, eventually leading to political movements against the rise of artificial intelligence, and its deepening grasp on every facet of society. One could imagine a fracturing of the human race, a splitting of thoughts about what constitutes humanity and how the species should evolve. As history has proven, humans are a warlike species, so we cannot dismiss the possibility that these political movements could lead to a war against the machines, with weapons that are not necessarily used for mass destruction, but rather used for disabling electronic equipment, the lifeblood of intelligent machines. The weapon that would be the most useful against the machines would be an electromagnetic pulse. One of these, if large enough, could send humanity back to the Stone Age. It is conceivable that an artificial superintelligence would know of such a possibility, and plan to take action against those trying to build such a weapon, quickly leading to the elimination of said faction. Or would we decide to do it ourselves? If we are so deeply intertwined with technology that we have formed a symbiotic relationship, then any threat against the machines is a threat against us. So we may find ourselves in a situation where we have to fight for our survival, against the retro humans. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content.